Oh, well, so weird, but your reading has been postponed I think for four sessions now. I've been waiting and waiting. Um, and then when I meditated on you, finally, when I got to you, um, all I picked up was positive messages. So I don't know what this card is, but it has fallen out. It's our first one. And so I'm like, okay, instead of trying to meditate on any more of a message, I just hope that this turns out really good for you, Aries. Um, readings have been quite intense. This is my Nostradamus layout. Apologize if you hear any noise in the background. Probably don't. Whenever readers say that, I'm always like, oh, I don't hear it. And if you'd like to book a private reading, I am still running my special, $50, half an hour. Um, so feel free to book it. Feedback is great on that or any other type of reading. The links are in my um, website, thetouchetarot.com. Okay, let me go over here and get an extra message before we begin. So things are good. There's something either rushing in. Um, I'm getting like... Okay, this could happen by Christmas time, okay? By the way, it really could be something like coming up within the next month. Um, what else am I getting here? It could be from any source. So it can be from friends. It can be from going out. It can be from just people you meet. But I'm here. I'm feeling and hearing like happiness, okay? Um, this may be someone that does kind of have a soft exterior. Uh, they don't open up very easily and... Um, in the center, like when you do get to them and when you do actually get to the center of them, they're very um, delicate, beautiful, just beautiful energy, okay? But it's not easy to get to the center of this person is what I get because um, they don't just let anyone in. Okay, this can be about you or your person. Let's begin, Aries. So we're starting off here with the issue. It could be that you let someone go regret i know i cannot change the past oh i feel like this crying energy we need to um totally right off the bat get some clarification it's the six of wands it looked like it kind of fell in reverse there um someone let go of something that was really good you could have been dealing with uh your perfect match or even a leo energy i mean aries goes great with female leos i know that for certain and i am noticing the sun um but there's something you regret something you possibly let go of if there was a home situation what is this card sticking out yeah you may have like rushed out you may have rushed in rushed out Hmm. situation, the issue, regret Aries. We'll see what happens. So when did this first begin to show itself? Like you started worrying when you made the choice to do something, Aries. I like that your messages are coming out very um, strong. You may have went back to a third party, Aries. I'm seeing the Hierophant at the bottom. Ah, I feel like you went back. What else do we have there? It's somewhere where you left because you weren't feeling good anyways there, but then you went back, Aries. So explain that, please. You know, I also feel that you worried because you left something that was great to go back to a shitty situation. Aries, why? Tell us more. I want another clarifier here for that. Three of Cups. Definitely went back to something. You were worried about something. You were either worried about what you left um, or you had some love for someone else there is what I get. Or you had some sort of a foundation built there. Um, I don't know. You made a regret. You made a regret. You, you made a, the wrong move is what I'm getting. Okay. You left the situation to go back to something you were worried about canceling out or something like that. And you regret it. Okay, big time. So second card, how did this manifest? Yeah, let's ask, how did this manifest? Friendship. So probably started with a friendship. You probably, this is what I'm getting right, right away, is you became quite good friends with someone and you did not realize the connection you would have, the higher fint. Um, also, you went back to the past. There's someone you went back to, Aries, uh, maybe because it looks a certain way or maybe this had to do with work. So you just decided to, to, I don't know, look back in the past and you regret it. Okay. So there was someone you were most likely friends with that you had a very strong connection with, um, but you went back to the past. Very repetitive. Sorry about that. So next, next question. What do you think is the cause? Like, you know, yeah, loneliness, huh? I know that I am never alone. You were worried to break free from this other person. 
Aries, here you are. And the reason I say that is because there was some sort of a circle, a community, you were involved in something that was very recognized or well known. And you didn't feel like you belonged there. Um, but you had to go. Um, you went back. Because that was your tribe is what I'm getting. But you don't even feel like you belong there. It's very hard for you to break free of a situation, Aries. That's what I get. And you're regretting every second of it. You may have worked with um, these people or whatever it is that's calling you back here. There may be money or some sort of a foundation you've built here. But I'll tell you, uh, you're doing most of the work. Okay, Aries. So let's see what we have for the fourth question. Why do you want to even engage in this? Let's see, growth. So that's a great card to get in this position. This is all about your growth. This is all about you learning. You may, you know, look at, like, honestly, you may not get this person back. And this may be a huge lesson for you, Aries, because you can have everything you want, but you want to ditch the wrong person. You know, you're really not going to get them sometimes. You're not going to be able to get them back. I think you feel that you will. But the person that you left, I see that they are very good. They are very good. Okay. Like, as in like, they're fine. Not that they're fine without you. This person may care and miss you. Um, but this person isn't chasing you because they do well on their own. And I think people chase this person, Aries. Okay. So let's see what else we have here. Who do you want to become or what do you want to become most closely involved other than yourself, Aries, envy. You want people to envy you? Hmm. Ooh, you want to show off is what I'm getting here, Aries. There's something here. Sorry to say, Aries, but you really got to, to like get rid of your ego a little. I see that you went back because you wanted people to envy you. Like, I don't know what you built with someone, um, but you had a lot of control there and there was not a lot of love. It was easy. You wanted people to envy you, but to be honest, you just stuck around because you've invested there. You've invest, you invested into someone and that's what kept you around and kept you going back. You wanted people to envy you because of that. Maybe the person you were dealing with was fancy or something, you know? But I think you invested a lot into someone else, and that's part of the problem. If you could change any one aspect of the issue, what would it be, Aries? Purpose. You would be following your purpose. You'd be um, in complete truth with yourself. You would take a chance and leave a situation that you are unhappy in, and you would take the actions um, to go somewhere else, no matter how much of a burden it would be, because you would know your purpose. You would know you're meant to go there and look at the bottom of the deck, the sun. You just got a whole pile of a message there. Interesting, Aries. This is going so quick. Okay. Well, my favorite card in the deck, my favorite position, I should say. Which factors are influencing um, are, or influences in your life are guiding you right now? Success. I don't know. I pick up a good and a bad thing. Like, good. You want success. But Aries, I think you really care about what people think about you. Please, let's see what we have here. Nine of Swords. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. Is Aries going to go back to this person that they regret leaving? The Magician. Uh, with the love. Like, I mean, it's very possible. But I feel like this person has it. You or your person has a big ego. Look at it, the empress in reverse. And also you may have pissed off someone. If you you may just be fed up with the situation as well that kept you hanging on. Someone may be fed up that you know they were stuck, not able to move um, from a situation. You may have pissed someone off. Okay, so where do we go? What's going on? Acceptance. Wow, Aries, from what I'm getting is you may not be able to change the situation. Even if you do go back to this person, this Queen of Swords energy, they may just be like, F off. You you may have, you know, this person knows you left them for someone else. Could be a fire sign. Um, 
could be an air sign, could be a water sign, could be an anything sign. I see the devil here too and the tower. So like it could have been a Capricorn, anything. It could have been a Capricorn or someone who really has their shit together um, that you left. And now when you want to go back here, or here you're gonna, I don't know. Is Aries going to be able to get this person back? This is a very special person. You are going to have some regrets. There is going to be a period of acceptance. This is one of the steps in manifestation, by the way. You do have to accept your circumstances at this time. You let a good person go, Aries. I really think you do. You did. This person saw endless possibilities in you. This person loved you. I'm sorry for the time being. You're going to have to accept your choices. Bye for now.